Okay, everybody, it's Lisa and day 14, no, day 13. <laughs> I lost my days. So today was an interesting day and I had a really good conversation with another healthy, conscientious person. And it was good listening to other viewpoints and other ideas because it just kind of adds to the melting pot. And also today at work was um, Taco Saturday. But anyway, it's where we all get together and kind of like potluck it. And I didn't hide from it. Um, I went upstairs and I kind of checked everything out. And um, my partner had even brought in his crock pot and made something, you know, down where we are. Everything smelled amazing. But I'll be honest, I wasn't even tempted at all. I feel so good doing what I'm doing. And I mean, I'm not going to continue it because I just want to get kind of into a normal routine for me in my life. And, you know, some people, you know, doing juice is normal. For me, it's not going to be, and that's going to be a decision you have to make on your own. But I'm going to, um, you know, just start, you know, gearing up, and um, I'm kind of excited because I'm finding all the things you can do with cauliflower, and it's like really amazing. Cauliflower rice and cauliflower this, and you know, stir fry and cauliflower, um, you know, like bread, but it's really not bread. But I think that's kind of exciting. But you know what? A lot of people tell me, you know, like, I couldn't do this. I think probably it's not you couldn't, it's just you don't want to. I mean, nobody, you know, like, wants to think about not eating food. To them, that's starvation, that's dying, that's, um, you know, limiting yourself. But I'll be honest with you, I probably feel better than I ever have in a long, long time. And, you know, I've had little aches and pains and they've totally disappeared. And you know what? Some people say it's in my head. And if it is, then so be it. I feel better than I ever have. So I'll take this any day. And oh, I don't know. It's been a, a fun ride. I think um, oh, day 15, you know, it's coming up. And I'm excited to have made it. I thank Jorge for all of his help. Um, Dr. Amy Myers for her incredible wisdom in her book. Um, I actually started watching a little bit of um, Dr. Robert Cesar and he's got a lot of um, really different and unique ideas and approaches about things and I've been like just kind of you know a little bit about what he's doing and I think that's about it and listening to my own self and when I start eating again I'm going to be listening to my own body and um, you know Maybe I eat something that's supposed to be good for you, but it doesn't agree with you. And, and that's perfectly okay, too. I learned a long time ago that healthy, you know, you can be allergic to healthy things. You can be allergic to organic things, you know, so you have to know your body and you have to listen to your body. And that's number one out of all things is to know your body, know the signals that it's sending you. Because if you don't know your body, and then you don't know what signals it's sending you. Like when I go back into eating, I'm going to, um, you know, introduce things slowly to my body. And maybe something that I absolutely loved before just doesn't, um, doesn't appeal right or doesn't, you know what I'm saying, my body reacts poorly to it. Then I'm going to know that maybe that's something that I should back away from. Maybe for right now, maybe forever. You know, we'll see. Um, fermented foods, that's going to take a bit. Um not a fan. I've really been trying. It's going to take a bit. And that's okay too. You know what? It's all baby steps. It's how we learn. When I first got into this, I was overwhelmed. And I kept thinking, oh, you got to do this. You got to do that. And then there's this. And then there's that. And then there's this. And basically, it's like a playing field. And you don't like jump into baseball and you're not a major league player right away. You know, there are baby steps that you have to take. You have to learn to hit. Then you have to learn to pitch. And you have to learn to catch. And it's kind of the same thing. It, you have to take baby steps along the way and some of the things you're going to step off to the side and you're not even going to be interested in and some things you're just going to adhere to right away. Just take it easy, take a deep breath, take all the information that you find out there and you know compare it because there's a lot of different thoughts out there as well. Compare it and compare with you. Some people say fasting isn't good for you. I guarantee you for me it is. It absolutely is, and I will be fasting probably more regularly besides the intermittent fasting. I mean, actually, you know, juice fasting again. And I'm not sure how long or how often or anything like that, but if you stay up watching me, um, I'll be putting things up every once in a while after the 15 days. 
So with that, I'm going to take a shower and I'm going to sit back and I'm going to watch some TV and tomorrow 12 more hours of work and that's about it. So have a great night. I want to say day. Have a great day. Have a great night. And if you have any questions, please ask. I'll answer them the best that I can. If you have any comments or concerns, the same thing. Um, I'd just like to hear from you. So I'll talk to you later. Bye.